So Gary Bennett, tell me about the new desk that has just hit the gallery floor. Right, oh, well, it was made out of, I uh, had this burl in the workshop for maybe two years. We got it, it was a really odd shaped burl. I think there's some photos I've sent through that uh, show its original shape. It was basically out here, and a lump here, and then this end was right out here. So it didn't really work for a dining table, but I thought after two years of looking at it, one day it was like, hmm, okay, I've been thinking about this new project we're doing with Larry, and uh, I've been down around the Peronga Ups area, the Stirling Ranges, and I just noticed the way all the ranges just kind of jut up out of the out of the plains there, they're really quite dramatic. So, and I thought, hmm, desk, and because it's got all these ins and outs and, and all that, I just thought it was perfect to be part of that project. So, this here is obviously cut and folded here, so it folded down, down, and then back under. So essentially all that was out here at one stage. It was about three and a half metres long. And then of course that was folded up here. But yeah, it turned out to be really perfect for a desk because the bit that folds down to the back acts like a courtesy board, this section here. The old fashioned courtesy board, but that's in a bit more of a modern way of you done that. Um, and it's just got really beautiful grain patterns and because of that I didn't want to introduce any more timbers so I used, or any more jarrah that wasn't burl. So for the door and the drawer, I've used uh, some really nice river, southern river banks here which is quite dark which goes really nicely with the jarrah. And it doesn't, doesn't fight with the jarrah but it just kind of complements it. And for the base I've kind of gone for geometry so because it's cut and folded under there, if you come around just have a look from here can sort of see that I've done a sort of geometrical leg pattern there, you need the support, but um, didn't want to put just straight legs on or steel or introduce again another material. So these are river banks here as well. And you can see how that courtesy board folds down there as well. It kind of shows that. It's just different. It's a really unique piece of timber and it was nice to make something that's, that's still practical, but, but totally unique in its, in its form and shape and I think we'll make a nice first piece for this upcoming exhibition we're going to do with Larry which is still probably 12 months away but um, I couldn't wait so I just thought I'd make it put it on the floor in the meantime. So that's it and in finishing this uh, burls I reckon it probably takes three times as long to put a good finish on a burl as compared to using timber that's not burl because it has a lot of little pores and things in it you've got to spend hours and hours filling and even just hand sanding all the edges you can't use machines for that um, and you've got to get when you do this cutting and folding you've got to get all the grains to follow around so yeah it's a lot of work in this one but it was worthy of such a nice piece of timber to spend the time and make something nice thank yeah. you